everyone, and welcome back to another edition of Safety Monday. I'm Jonathan Payne, your Field Services Specialist. Today kicks off the start to National Burn Awareness Week, and I want to take this time to highlight some information that could help everyone prevent common burn-related incidents. The American Burn Association estimates that every year nearly 486,000 people incur burn-related injuries that require medical attention. In addition, nearly 40,000 of those injuries resulted in hospitalization. While many burn injuries are typically minor, the ABA reports that nearly 60% of the estimated acute hospitalizations in the United States are due to burn-related injuries. Here are some tips to help you and your family or friends prevent some common burn-related injuries that can occur at home. Home kitchens are a major area for risk and can create potential fire hazards and if someone isn't careful, can easily put them in a scenario where they could get burned. When cooking, never leave stovetops unattended. Anything can happen in a few moments that you're gone. If you have small children present, make it a practice to cook on the back burners and turn pot or pan handles in to prevent scalding incidents. Keep the stovetop and oven clean from grease and debris and do not leave any flammable materials nearby. Do not place or spray aerosols near an open flame. Avoid wearing loose fitting clothes when cooking and turn off the stovetop if flames rise higher than the stove. In addition to stoves and ovens, microwaves can also prevent risks for burn injuries. Remember to only use containers designed for microwave use if you're reheating food. You may also want to watch out for those metal utensils and even a Chick-fil-A biscuit wrapper. Allow food to cool down before removing them from the microwave. Prevent steam burns by removing lids carefully. Also, never microwave a baby bottle. Manufacturers have created a safe alternative to keep your infant safe from scalding milk. In addition to kitchen users, it's also important to keep the kitchen safe for our children. Create a kid-free zone around the oven or stovetop and be sure to educate your children of the risks of burning themselves. Keep children out of the kitchen area when preparing a meal. Do not allow appliance cords to dangle within reach of children. Store all matches or lighters up high and out of children's reach. Do not cook on the stove, eat or drink hot foods while holding a child. While this may just be a small list of potential home hazards that could lead to burns, it's important to remember that burn-related injuries can always happen to you, so you should exercise caution even at home. That about wraps things up for this episode of Safety Monday. Thanks for tuning in, and as always, be safe for your four.